So, welcome to Duffy's Stone. When you order your kit, this is what you'll see. So we're going to show you what's inside. We are starting a company called Duffy's Doe, and I'm Patrick Duffy. But her name is not Doe, it's Linda Pearl. But the reason that we're doing it is because years ago, my family was gifted with a sourdough starter. And from that gift to right now has been 70 years of Duffy experience, of which I've been a part of it for the last 25, 30 years. And now we have this company, thanks to Linda and her perseverance and her <laughs> knowledge and her friends and everything that have uh, given birth to a way of giving back. The memory that I have of my parents, of our trip to Alaska, and all the years ensuing up to here where we've gifted friends of ours with this sourdough starter. So, you get a French rolling pin. Measuring cups. Flour. Measuring spoons. Sugar. And <laughs> the whole reason this company exists, the starter itself. Family tradition since 1952. Scraper. A pot holder. And, very important, ah! a Duffy's Dough apron. May I? Well, the idea came from me, the inspiration came from her. <laughs> because uh, uh, my parents took me to, to, my sister and myself, to Alaska in 1952 uh, in a little tiny trailer house towed behind a real old GMC pickup on a gravel road from Montana to Alaska. And I was three years old. And when, when they got there, the following May, uh, my mother was gifted by an old woman there, a sourdough starter. And it's been a pure sourdough starter with nothing added to it but flour, sugar, and water for 70 plus years in my family. When Linda and I got together, one day uh, I made sourdough pancakes in the morning. And she went, mmm. And I blithely said, yeah, I was thinking it would be a great business, a Duffy sourdough starter. And then I forgot about it. But well, I thought, sure, of course, especially as I sampled the full repertoire of what Patrick makes with sourdough. And we would take it to uh, dinner parties and start to see people's you know, response to it and the conversation around sourdough. Oh, I used to bake. I should try this again, that kind of thing. So I, it just seemed to be an obvious idea. We are in an FDA-approved kitchen. We are both El Paso County sanctioned food managers. Certified. Certified, having passed tests, rigorous testing. And we are now packing sugar and flour. And the beauty of it is this sourdough with a good starter is almost bulletproof. And it just lies dormant, and as soon as you hydrate it, yeast becomes alive again. It's, it's a remarkable sort of symbolic thing about life and, and you know, rejuvenation and all of that kind of stuff, which fits in with our whole premise of families need to find things to do together instead of doing so many things separately. The, a, a play or a film or a TV series gets done because of teamwork, and that's very much the case here. We are utterly dependent and inspired by and guided and mentored by our collective team. Yeah. What bags have we done, honey? Right now, we're about 50 bags in. The other day we did another 50 bags. We only have 100 more bags to go. It's, I mean, just to do it even by yourself, it's very, I find it very meditative. It calms things down. It's, uh, it's a simple handmade task. It just, it sort of, just the process of doing it kind of hits a reset button, I find. <laughs>